I took a little walk in downtown Oklahoma City this yeah. morning, and it was nice out. It was. Uh, we actually did have some storms in the metro, but not necessarily downtown Oklahoma City this yeah. morning. Um, so we got lucky. Well, I mean, we can always use the rain, but we could also use a little bit of sun here and there, yes. too. Um, and we certainly that's what we're going yes, for. Yes, <laughs> we're going with a good balance, okay? Um, we still actually have more chances of rain and storms, but, you know, for now, things are pretty quiet. We had lots of storms across parts of the state this morning, missed out officially at the airport, but we did have some severe storms, especially along the Red River early this morning with Jed and Lacey and Hannah, but next in live, very quiet right now, still a couple of storms, really just looks like south of the Red River at this point, but we had lots of sun now. The clouds are starting to fill back in from west to east, but still plenty of sunshine in north central and parts of eastern Oklahoma, and that's certainly where temperatures are a little bit warmer right now. But you can see the high clouds moving into Oklahoma City. This is our Integris camera, but our Lucky Star SkyCam network. We're at 75 degrees, a light and variable wind. Dew points are in the low 60s, where we do have more sun. Temperatures are in the upper 70s and low 80s, but in western and southern Oklahoma, a little bit more cloudy, so temperatures only in the upper 60s and low 70s, but we still have some low 60s right now in Guymon, with that southeast wind between about 5 to 15 miles an hour, so that wind's not really going to move a whole lot today. And just kind of looking at the big picture, kind of see that boundary to the south. That's where those rain and storms still are, are lingering as they move off to the east. And we're going to be watching what is taking place over Colorado and Kansas today because eventually later this evening and into tonight, it looks like a complex of storms will form over in that region and eventually make its way into Oklahoma. But I think it could take a while in the meantime this afternoon, a slight chance of an isolated shower storm. But later this evening, we're expecting the storms to eventually move into the Oklahoma panhandle and eventually northwest Oklahoma. Oklahoma still do have a chance, uh, about a moderate chance of seeing some of these rain and storms in Oklahoma City, but it's probably going to be after about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, so it's going to be late for us. So most of the afternoon should be dry, and then overnight tonight, eventually everything just kind of moves off to the east, and then tomorrow during the day, it looks pretty dry for most of us. So this is the first wave that's going to be moving through over today and into tonight, but the next one will actually be moving in on Thursday, and that's just going to bring a slight chance of rain and storms across the state. We're going to have a front move through Saturday night into Sunday, and that's going to bring another chance of rain and storms. But after that, it looks dry for a while. In fact, it looks pretty hot with temperatures climbing into the 90s and staying there. Today, though, we're looking for a high of about 79 in Oklahoma City. The low to mid 80s in the northeast, still just kind of shooting for the low to mid 70s across the south and west. And again, for this afternoon, just a slight chance of an isolated shower or storm. But later this afternoon, storms are going to become a lot more likely in the panhandle. And this evening, everything's going to move into northwest Oklahoma, about a 20% chance. But I think that chance will start to ramp up probably after about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. And then eventually rain and storms move into eastern and northeast Oklahoma. During that time, there is a threat that some of those storms could become severe. I think that would be a little bit more isolated, but we are talking golf ball size hail wind gusts to 70 miles an hour. So where we could see the larger hail threat, that's going to be primarily in western Oklahoma, not putting Oklahoma City in that. We could see maybe up to quarters at this point. But as far as the stronger winds are concerned, also for really far western Oklahoma. Overnight temperatures drop down into the low to upper 60s to the east and then tomorrow afternoon even warmer temperatures in the low 80s because overall storm chances are going to be pretty low. Tomorrow about a 10 percent chance in Oklahoma City chances uh, 10 to 20 just to the east and northeast. Thursday afternoon temperatures in the upper 80s low 90s and the north and northwest some low to mid 90s in the south and southwest. Thursday afternoon and evening here comes that second wave giving everyone just a slight chance of rain and storms at this point. But as we get into the weekend, of course, Father's Day on Sunday, we will have a chance of rain and storms, but I think that's going to be during the overnight hours, Saturday night into Sunday. Monday for Juneteenth, that's going to be hot and dry. Temperatures in the mid-90s and summer doesn't even officially arrive until Wednesday of next week. By Wednesday, we will have a slight chance of rain and storms. It's still going to be very warm. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Cass.